Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. Stupid character. Well, well, we've been pretty stupid the past episode. And it's probably not going to repeat, unless people would actually want it. Because, well, it was a bit stupid and boring, wasn't it? A pack of centaurs. Well, you know, this is exactly pretty much what we need. High level creatures uh, that we can still kill. Because we just need lots of XP. Smash! Oh, critically hit in the eyes. Very nice. Crippled limbs, which basically means it's probably blind. And then I hit it for eight in the eyes. Well, that's nice. Um, yeah. Oh, well. We be starting the bad dance on the enemy head now, man. Man. He's, he's great. What's his name again? Vic. He's great with that gauze pistol. He's doing loads of damage. And actually, I should probably get my small guns up so I can do that stuff as well. Because that's ridiculous. Now, when these guys bite you, you usually get irradiated. So, we'll see how that goes. Solik was critically hit for three points, blowing through the armor. Okay. Right, let's uh, go for this one. Smash! 21, not great. Smash. 95, that's what I want to see. Excellent. That's a lot of blood. Oh, he's going at it. 33, 37, that's not bad at all for a little tiny pistol. He's doing an average of 42-ish, I think. Ow! It was crazy how he uh, critted that alien last time. And completely bloody obliterated it. That was ridiculous. Well, that centaur is gone. And now this center is about to go. 93. I like that. 28. Yeah, show him what you've got. Excellent. Nice. Look at all that blood. Ouch. Vic is being hit, but he's got pretty good armor. I think he's got combat armor. Uh, the Brotherhood combat armor, right? It's been so long since I've played this now that I've forgotten a little bit, but hey, not too much. Wow, that was... Oh, this one's still alive. Uh, no, it's not. Is it? It can't be. It is! Well, it's still there. It's just unconscious. Very interesting. I've never seen a centaur just stay unconscious like that. But how, how the hell do I hit it now? That is the question. Not like that, apparently. From here? Nope. Oh, there it is. And I... Oh, now I can hit it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> that was interesting. So that was a lot of XP, actually. More than those death claws we've met. That was pretty amazing. So let's see. Solik... No. Solik has... 103 HP total. And you've got 78, you're a bit hurt, but that's alright, we'll, uh, we're still fine. Yeah, uh, we need quite a bit of XP still, and then we need another level to get to Slayer, to the Slayer perk. But when we do that, that is gonna be amazing. The Slayer perk is ridiculously powerful, because it basically converts every hit in melee to a critical hit. It doesn't quite work like the Sniper. The Sniper... Uh, does a roll against your luck stat. So instead of, you know, using your crit stat, it just rolls against your luck, which is ridiculous. Especially if you know about the perk beforehand and go for, like, oh, great floaters, and go, you know, and, and get your luck stat up. That's just ridiculous, then. Um, now the Slayer perk, well, it just works every time you hit. If you hit, it's gonna be a crit. It's Ridiculous. Bloody floaters. Floater was hit in the ganglion for eight hit points. Those things are really spooky. If I had... If if this was real life and I was to see these things approaching me, I would run my ass off so quick you wouldn't even believe. Unless, of course, I was wearing Power Armor Mark II. Ow. Well, it did no damage. And, you know, had some pretty serious weaponry. So let's go for the centaur first, because it's probably almost dead. There we go. Make way for the others. Damn, these guys are quick. Ah, oh, but look at that gauze pistol doing so much damage still. 
Well, as long as they go for me, that's good. They probably can't go through the armor that much. Or at all. Unless they crit me, of course. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll be fine. Ooh. Ah, if it stayed on the ground, that would be great. Because that gives us a 95% chance to uh, actually hit them in the eyes. Because normally, it seems we have about 68%. Are we not getting irradiated by this thing? We probably are, but not too much. So it's not showing up yet. Nice, that's another one dead. These centaurs seem to give a lot of XP for how easy they are to kill. I wish Vic would be able to fire more than twice in a round, like three times. That would be perfect. Well, perfect would be ten times, I guess. <laughs> we'll just hear all the bloody time. Stop spitting at me, bloody root creatures. Come on. Nice. <laughs> I like how they sort of fall down. Almost looks like a weird scorpion. Bye. Have fun. Jeez. Oh, these are nasty floaters. Oh, come on. How did you miss a 70%? Nice. These are nasty floaters. Alright. 60 and 56, that's not bad. 31 and 26, yeah. He's doing some great damage with that gloss pistol. I'm happy I gave it him. I think I've already tried giving the Ripper to, um... Solik, right? And he doesn't use it. Or was that just my imagination? I don't know. I'll have to try again, I guess. Bloody floaters. 69, that's always a good number. And it is. Only 14, wow. I'm not very happy with that. Come on. If I hit them in the ganglion, they should die. Because that, that should hurt or something. Not that I assume to know what, you know, their ganglion does. Or that it's some kind of a sexual organ that would probably really hurt to hit. This is what we do to vermin. Oh no, wait, that was Vic, wasn't it? This is what we do to vermin. I don't know what voice he actually supposed to have. Oh, goodbye. These guys love sliding across the floor. Whoa. Damn it. And he's just too far away. Well, actually, I do have enough. Nice. Come on, die. Die. Come on. Oh, God, they slide all over the place. Bye. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> nice. 40. How much do they actually have? 375, something like that? 300? No, 175 only! Wow! They're really tough. Probably all that um, armor and defense they have. I'm just gonna wait here. Yep, come closer. Oh, they can actually attack once. You were critically hit for no damage. Alright, let's get this bastard. Oh god, he's gonna slide away over again for three and a half years. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's not gonna... It's only knocked down, as you can see in this pose. It's not gonna... Oh, wait! No, I take that back. I stand correct. They can die in that pose. Alright, well, that's fine. So how much was that? Whoa, quite actually nice. I'm actually getting better. Told you I wouldn't let you down, boss. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Alright, so there we go. One last level before we actually finish. Now, should I put more into melee weapons? Or should I pour more into... You know what? Considering I'll be using Slayer, I'm gonna put more into melee weapons. There we go. I'll keep that skill point just in case. Right, so one more level we need. And it's actually not that far away. We need th uh, 23,000. I think we can do that just fine, you know. A few more random encounters with centaurs. Or these things. We'll just keep around here. Now, the only problem is we don't want to go too far. Because the Enclave patrols are over there. So we don't go... Oop. We don't want to go too far. Yeah, let's do some aliens. They're not too big on XP, I believe. And they're a bit annoying because they can knock you down so easily. But uh, let's go for it anyway. And there's a cave as well. Whoa, which will probably have more. 58, how much do they have? 120, so this was... Hmm. So this was some kind of a... 
instant kill critical. I like it. Go. Nice. Bloody hell, what the hell? I know that one of the perks, I believe it's better criticals that I've actually taken twice, gives you a flat 5% chance to instantly kill anything you hit with any weapon. I believe that's the case. Don't, you know, don't take that for granted from me. But I believe that's the case. Now, I don't know if this is what's going on here. If I was so lucky that I hit them twice in a row and got an instant kill twice in a row. That would be bloody brilliant. Now, this is what these guys are annoying for. You know. Long attacks, lots of attacks, nasty attacks. They knock you down often. Bye. <laughs> um, but, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta get that XP, that lovely XP. Grampy Bone be helping me now. Ow. I wish I could I wish I could speak with a Jamaican accent. That would be cool. Jamaican accent, it's cool. But I don't even want to Ow! Bloody things. I don't even want to attempt it because I'm too bad at it. See, this is what's really annoying. When they knock you down, it's fine if you get up immediately. It's not fine if you stay down and you have to get up on your turn, because that way you're wasting APs. Which I don't want to waste because I want to kill people. Well, in this case, aliens. Bloody hell, am I smashing them to bits, though? <laughs> God damn. This is, this is how I want my melee hits to be. Damn, you don't want to... Whoa! Oh man, that was, that's bloody awesome. I've never seen that animation before. Well, we've seen it last time, in the last episode, but I've never seen it before. That looks ridiculously awesome. Holy crap. And I guess it only works with the Ghost Pistol? Or maybe with any weapons, but I mean, any projectile weapons, but I've always only used energy weapons against these guys. Damn. They just explode in... A pile of blood and bone and everything. I don't want the fire gecko. It was not enough XP for how annoying they are. And they have a nasty habit of just completely burning up your, uh, your companions. You know, you just see these burning men. It's not nice. No, come on. Don't, don't do that. There you go. That's what you should do. And then slide away to eternity. Oh, if I had a holy hand grenade of Antioch, just place it here, just boom. But I'm so bad at uh, throwing weapons. I actually wonder how bad it would be if we went for thrown weapons only. You know, skill-wise. That would be horrible. Okay, I gotta go for that floater, unless, of course, they get another uh, turn. Which is ridiculous. Somebody told me that, apparently, because I picked bru the trade bruiser, which means you're a little slower, but a little, you know, hit a little harder. Uh, all the enemies actually get two turns. Uh, for the first time. Not afterwards. But, the game doesn't say anything about that. It just, you can see that your sequence gets slower, right? Which is fine, you know? I, I don't mind that I go last. But, the fact that there's also a hidden stat that all the enemies go twice in the first or second round, I don't know exactly how it works, is pretty horrible. Especially if you're meeting guys like the Enclave. Because they will just shoot you up with those, you know, gauss rifles and plasma rifles and everything. Bloody hell, bye. Stop. How is that even possible? What kind of... Ooh. And it's actually unconscious. Seemingly lifeless. Um, how is that even possible? What kind of calculation goes on in the game that tells the game how far an enemy is going to slide across the floor? <laughs> I guess we hit it so hard. It's just, I don't know. Breaks the game and the floater. I like this though. You were hit for no damage, no damage, no damage, no damage, no damage. Floater missed. <laughs> they must be pissed. Well, I know which I'm going for next. This one. Because it did. Bang. 
Well, another slider. Yeah, they're not floaters. They're called sliders from now on. Damn. Jeez. Bye. Have fun. Okay, well, he's going to stop at his buddy, I guess. No, he's going to... Bye. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I've been there, buddy. You're, you're in for a ride. Bye. <laughs> Seemingly lifeless. I'm doing 108. I like this. Oh, he didn't have enough to uh, spit at me or whatever they do. It's sort of some kind of a fleshy thing that comes out. I don't know. Or is it, is it supposed to be like acid or poison? I don't know. Probably not poison because otherwise we would get poisoned. But <clears throat> they're horrible, these things. Horrible looking, anyway. I mean, if you meet them without power armor and with some normal weapons, they're all horribly resistant. They're actually one of the only things that the YK-42B pulse rifle isn't very good against. Because I believe they have a very high energy resistance. Uh, so not nice. But, well, in power armor, as you can see, there's not much they can do against us. And that one died exactly in the same spot as the other one. No, nothing else is around, so I have to waste APs to walk up to them. Goodbye. Seemingly, seemingly lifeless again. Oh, too far away. Smash! Ugo smash! Nice. Oh, he's not dead yet. They are hardy, I'll give him that. Yeah, smash it. I have to try uh, giving Sonic a ripper. Ow. See what he does with it. Uh, right, this one should be almost dead, I believe. I'm not really checking, but... Slide, slide, slide away. There he goes. Alright, I want to go for that one. Be careful like this. You don't want to hit your buddy. So be sure that the percentage is white and not sort of orange-ish. Like that. Because if it's orange-ish, you're hitting your buddies. 14 points. I ask you. Man, that bloody thing that shoots out is horrible. Damn! You go, Vic. That's nice. There you go. Is it going to die? Yes, it is. How much XP? 5,000! Wow! That is not bad at all. Alright, so let's give Solik a Ripper. Oog. Does this have anything? Yes, it does. Let's trade him that first and then see. If he can use it. Yes, he can! Why didn't I give him the Ripper before then? Hmm. That's odd. Well, let's give him all the batteries, because he's going to be using those. Actually, I'm going to keep some of the batteries for the Power Fist. But I'm probably going to be mostly using the Sledgehammer. Because it doesn't use any batteries, and it's just very good. Wow, with the Ripper, he's going to be going crazy. <clears throat> Alright, well, thank you very much for watching, and we are going to continue next time when we gather even more XP. Look at this, I only need 15,000 more. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright, well, well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.